The world of Kazakir is a world of good and evil. Magic is easy to obtain and is incredibly powerful to practitioners. Adventurers travel the world seeking relics of a previous age to grow in power so that they can defeat their enemies. Evil is not automatically persecuted. Only those who seek the path of destruction are brought to death and justice. Whose justice is the question? Twin sibling adventurers have each acquired one such relic. One of good and one of evil. They have vowed not to adventure for quests of morality, but ones of ambiguity so that they can adventure together. One such quest is to destroy Jalandoth, the destroyer of life. It is said he will wipe out all life from the face of Kazakir. The sibling who follows the strict tenets of good, wishes to prevent the people of the world from certain death. They can then lead a life of happiness and joy. The sibling who follows evil, wishes to be the first to claim they saved the people. This will give them great power, and many will follow, and worship, the one who saves them. Jalandoth is a simple farmer. He has led a life of poverty and helps anyone who asks. His farms are well known and produce more than any other farm in the world. His life fills him with great joy. He has no knowledge of the events that are about to transpire and his soul is pure. The seers of the land claim he will be the cause of great loss of life. The gods command this be prevented and he must be slain on sight even though he has not committed any act that would hurt anyone. Would it be evil to kill someone for actions that are not yet taken? How can anyone be sure that Jalandoth will be the catalyst, and even if slain, will another take his place? The arduous journey was long and painful for both siblings. They were tested both physically and mentally. However, they have persevered and found Jalandoth. Their deities each have commanded them to kill Jalandoth on sight and give no quarter. Both siblings have a crisis of consciousness. How can killing this man be both an act of good and evil simultaneously? Will taking this action be true to their ideology and can they deny their God's command? The farmer was slain. At the moment of his death, spores were released. They were contained by powerful primordial magic not seen since the creation of the world. These spores contain a virus so incompatible with life that all life on the face of the world died within 50 years. The gods were stunned. Even they had no idea who this being was. Jalanoth was one of the world's creators. He was cursed by his fellow creators for disobeying the group's tenets. His omnipotence was removed and his immortality was the only thing that kept the people of the world from dying. 